Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. And today we will go through a couple code pen demos and tools which are using SVG, which are pushing the boundaries of what can be done with SVGs and SVG animation. Okay, so we'll start with Sarah Circulus, Circulus, Circulus SVG tool. Then we look at Chris's couple SVG line demos. And at the end, we look at the low polygon lion effect from Dennis. And the first thing we look at is the circulus.svg, which is a brand new SVG menu generator, which Sarah Suidan released a couple days ago. She was teasing us on Twitter for a couple days before finally releasing this tool. And as you can see, you can customize the way this looks and works to match your own project and style. And then you can download the code and animate this menu on your own project. So very cool, definitely will save you a lot of time if this is a menu you want to include on your own site. Okay, so there is pretty detailed instructions also how to modify it and tweak it to fit your project. And she also included three demos on CodePen. Okay, so this first one's using pure jQuery, so there's no green sock on this one. This is using just the jQuery library to animate the SVG. The second example is using green sock TwinMax and a pure JavaScript. Okay, so you click on this plus sign and icons come out in a very elastic way. And the third is again circle one with a different kind of effect, also using the green sock TwinMax. So explore these three demos and you'll definitely learn something about JavaScript and SVG animations. Now let's have a look at three demos from Chris Gannon, who released on CodePen a couple demos in last couple weeks, which are all using SVG line and SVG line animation. Okay, as you can see, some of them pretty cool with the elastic effect. And the final is this SVG creeper, sort of walking monster, bending the line and going back and forth. So all of these ones using GreenSock. As you can see, the first one's using GreenSock draw SVG plugin and the attribute plugin. And you would think that this is an element and then another element and another element, but what it actually is, it's one SVG and it will animate the stroke dash array of that SVG to show different parts of it. Okay, so to prove that we can disable all the code here. And you will see the full SVG path and the SVG shape visible. And that's what's happening. So the SVG draw plugin just draws a little bit of that line until the end of it. Okay, so very powerful draw SVG plugin from GreenSock in action and the other ones as well. So this one's using GreenSock and draw SVG plugin two, and obviously creates similar effect, elastic effect. So very cool. You can see how GreenSock is powerful, tweaking and tweening SVGs. And the last one is SVG Creeper, which is again, SVG line animated using GreenSock and the draw SVG plugin. So if we scroll down in this example, you'll see how it's animating the individual points of that element. So buzzier through and these are the various offsets. Okay, so that it's being animated using the GreenSock SVG, draw SVG plugin. Not sure why there is this throw props and draggable doesn't look like we can drag anything. So I don't think we need these two plugins, but definitely GreenSock and Draw SVG will need to create similar effect. Okay, so very, very cool. Explore these three demos as well. And I'm sure you'll learn something about Draw SVG plugins from GreenSock. And the last demo we'll look at today is this Polygon Lion animation from Dennis Gable. Again, this is using GreenSock to animate individual polygons of SVG. So if you look at the HTML section, 
you'll see there is SVG with polygons of indiv individual section of it with different colors and GreenSock then animates them one after the other. So here we're targeting the polygons inside of that SVG, staggering them. So this is the stagger offset and the duration of it. Okay, so we can change this to create completely different effects. So change this to five, give it a 10 seconds duration and we'll create some awesome slow motion effect. You can see how all of these polygons are animating the opacity and scale and coming into a view. Okay, so play with the settings. As you can see, it's not, not a lot of code here. And there is also CSS tricks article, which goes into more detail how this can, this can be put together. Okay, so go to CSS tricks slash polylion to read more about how this was created. And that's it all for today. Hopefully you found these demos useful. Thanks Chris, Sarah and Dennis for putting all this together for us. And if you came across another CodePen demos related to SVG and GreenSock animation, just leave a comment under the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos from the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Until next time, happy SVG animating. Bye.